Hi all, today we're going to be talking about Amorish, my favorite continent in the game. I wanted to make this video as soon as I finished the other ones, but I got really unlucky and Amorish wasn't open anywhere. Now, luckily it's open on Miller, so that's why we're looking at Amorish tonight. And Amorish is my favorite continent in the game. Honestly, if I could pay to only play Amorish, I would. I should never ever become lead developer because I will lock everybody to Amorish when I'm online. I love Amorish. It's filled with great bases. I like the lattice layout on it. I like generally the territory on it. I enjoy the base design. I enjoy the map design. I really like Amorish. It's a lot of fun to play on. There are some bad bases here though, and there are some changes I would make. Of course we're looking at this as an unstable continent because nothing has an open in normal prime time right now, which sucks, but you know what? We'll just simply have to make do. And I would like to again note, as always, this is coming from the perspective of a solo player who plays for good fights and directives. I don't do team play, I don't do squads, I don't do construction, I generally do not do vehicles. So, it's a primarily an infantry main's point of view, who has played solo, and who plays for directives and good fights. So, as per usual, we'll start with the middle of the map. Now, Amherst's center is okay. Ultimately, it's not as good as Hassan's Nason, but... But, Ascent is okay. It does need changes, but on the whole, it's okay. Namely, it needs some more ways to attack, especially if you're coming from Raven or Lithcore. But other than that, I actually like the Ascent. Sometimes you can get godly farms here, if you know what you're doing. The other night, I racked up 100 kills in like 20 minutes. It's It can be a really, really godly farm. But you need a lot of perfect situations to come together to have it be that kind of farm. And in general, it needs more ways for attackers to attack it with Sunders and for the Sunders just to not get deleted immediately. Other than that, I like Ascent, it is what it is. Rock Slide, on the other hand, you rarely get to play at. It's it's an okay base, you know what, I haven't played it a whole lot from what I have played at it. It's okay, I wish there were more points for Sunders. Outside of that, it's fine. And that's actually going to be a problem with a lot of these Amherst spaces. While I like a lot of them, it can be hard to maintain Sunders generally on this continent, and I'll note that where I need to. This core central is kind of ass. Unfortunately, it's definitely the weak link of this center quad, if you will. And in general, it's too hard to keep Sunders up alive here. And even defending, it doesn't feel fun because you have to teleport her down, which makes you really easy to spawn lock. <coughs> Raven, I like. Um, again, it's a little easy to spawn lock Raven. Other than that, I actually like it. I think it's probably the most well-balanced of the center quadrant. So... Now the gates, and you know what, for the first time ever, I'm actually going to say that I like all of these gates equally. Honestly, all of them have their weak points, but all of them also generally feel good to play in, and they have enough good bases along their lanes that I actually enjoy playing all of them. I do overall prefer Southern Gate ever so slightly, but I don't really care. All these gates are fine to play, I just have a slight preference towards Southern. So... Moving on, we're going to kind of circle our way around the map like usual, I'm going to talk about what I like, what I don't like, what I change, etc. Now, I actually do like a lot of this uh, western side of Amherst. Honestly, a lot of these bases are good in some way or another, and I really wouldn't change a whole lot of them. Quaddy Mountain is a bit of a shit show, but you rarely push to it. It needs to be just overhauled entirely, but it's it's okay. It just needs an overhaul. It's too easy to spawn camp. Jenny 9 Physics is a bit of a shit show, but you know what? It is the shit show on the lattice, so given that there's no bio on this lattice, you know what? I'll take it for what it is. Shrouded Skyway is my favorite base in the entire game. At least it was until they made it made it a conduit base. I will always maintain that 24v24 50-50 pop at Shrouded Skyway was the best fight in the entire game in terms of pure enjoyment. Far and away, it was my favorite base of all, and they butchered it by putting a conduit in it. It's okay now, don't get me wrong, but it was better as a capture point base, and it only really needed a little bit more cover to be really, really good, but it's still my favorite base in the game, excluding the fact that it's a conduit base now. Scarfield Reliquary is great. I have no complaints with Scarfield. I think it's a great base. You know what, for what it is, I actually really like Scarfield. It's fine. You know what, Scarfield can stay. Volcock and its surrounding auxiliaries are a little annoying. But you know what, for what they are, I think they do the job. Uh, Ecological Preserve could do with having some better Sunder locations, and perhaps a slightly less spawn campable spawn. Other than that, it's fine. Volcock Shipping is fun to fight in. It's a relatively interesting base. Watchtower, I actually really like the layout of. It's my favorite tower base in the game. And in general, Watchtower is pretty good. Of course, Wolcock is an amp. I don't particularly care for amps, but whatever. It soaks up pop. West Pass Watchtower was also butchered by being turned into a conduit base. It's okay. It's a little too easy to just shell the shit out of the tower with armor and air. 
But other than that, West Pass is actually a relatively okay base. Cobalt Com is a good base. I have actually no words to talk about on it there. In general, a lot of these bases, I actually don't have a whole lot to say on. I like a lot of these bases. I think they're remarkably well balanced for what they are, with their only main issues being it's too hard to get Sunders up and keep them up, or it's too easy to spawn trap to spawn. But that's a problem on every continent in some way or another. Unless I'm specifically calling out an issue with a base, you can assume I like the base, or at least I tolerate it. Moving on to the Hayoka lane and its auxiliaries. Hayoka is placed in a weird spot. It's honestly placed way too close to Tumas, but for what it is, it's okay. I just think it's weird that all three techs are relatively placed near the center of the map, and honestly, they're kind of on weird lattices in general, but whatever, they're fine. Uh, special shout out to Chemical Lab. While I think it's a relatively poorly designed base, I love the bridge, uh, the gate bridge mechanic. For those who don't fight here often, there's a little light bridge that you can flip like a, like a, how am I going to describe this? So like, you know how there's those Sunder uh, shields at certain bases on like Indar? They're like those, and you can flip them to your faction by hacking the terminal, and if you time it right, you can watch tanks just fall through into the acid water and explode, and it's really, really funny. It needs a lot more hardcover for attackers because it's simply way too easy to blow up Sunderers, and there's very limited routes into the base with these only these three small infantry bridges, but I actually like Hayoka Chemical for what it is, and I would like to see its gimmick preserved into more bases. Chimney Rock is the first base I'm actually going to call out here specifically as being kind of ass. It needs better attacker points. Attacking it from the south is just hellish because you can just get vehicle farmed because of where the vehicle terminal is. And if you're attacking from the north, good fucking luck getting a good sunder up and keeping it there because of where the point room is in contrast to where all the hard cover is with mountains. I think some extra lanes, perhaps even a, a cave route even to the point would do it wonders. Uh, other than that, it could do with an overhaul entirely, but... A band-aid fix would be at least a couple cave routes that would allow Sunderers placed on the northern area, uh, say behind the mountains, to actually have routes to the point. I think it would help def uh, attacker defender balance quite a lot. Two moss, I have nothing specific to talk on. Warp gate bases in general, I have nothing to talk on. Arax's firearm core is great. I really, really like firearm core. I wish it had a little better Sunderers. It's generally pretty hard to keep a Sunderer alive here simply because of where the vehicle terminal is and the fact that it's just kind of a giant ass bridge up. If defenders have good vehicles, you can pretty much never push the damn thing, or you tend to zerg it right to spawn. I think it needs more routes and more sunder routes, specifically maybe even infantry staircases up along the sides of the base to help support fights at the capture point that's right here, and the capture point in this building. I can't waypoint it because I'm not actually on the continent, but you get what I mean. Raxcom sub is fine. It needs more spawn room cover particularly, but other than that, a substation is actually remarkably okay. Moving on to Zelos. Zelos is honestly, in terms of pure fights, I, it's one of the better. It's it, 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 it's better. It's one of the better biolabs in the game. Uh, Northgate is pretty weak, and it's too easy to spawn camp. I'd overhaul it entirely. West Air Dock is a relatively neat base, but I think it. I think it needs a vehicle terminal. I know it's an air dock, but I think it would really benefit from having a vehicle terminal somewhere near. And South Bridge is okay, but its spawn room needs to be a little bit more easily defensible because it's too easy to get spawn locked there. Split Peak was butchered by being turned into a conduit base, and in general I did not care for Split Peak in the first place. I'd overhaul it entirely. Silver Valley is okay. Actually, you know what? For what it is, Silver Valley is one of the better bases on the East Lane because a lot of the other bases on the East Lane are kind of, uh, needs more Needs a more defensible spawn room. Other than that, Silver Valley is actually quite okay. East Hills I've never gotten to fight at, like, ever. Moving to Mekala, or Mekala, or Mekala, whatever you want to call the stupid tech plant, it's pretty alright. I don't like Auxiliary Compound, admittedly. I think Auxiliary Compound should be completely rebuilt. Uh, I never get to fight at cart mining, so I cannot speak on it. And the tech plant itself is just okay. Moving on to Anatha in its auxiliaries, including East Shore. East Shore is a relatively decent base for what it is. Um, I think it needs better Sunder locations, and a more defensible spawn room. In general, a lot of Amherst spawn rooms, and this is kind of a weird base to put this tangent on, but whatever, I'm just thinking of it now because I shoot these things live. A lot of Amherst spawn rooms are really, really, really held back by how poorly defensible they are. A lot of them are just kind of out in fields or kind of tucked into a mountain, where it's really, really easy to just shell the shit out of the spawn room, and there's no teleporters to create alternate routes or even good alternate routes in general. A lot of Amherst spawn rooms could do with just being more defensible, having different, uh, having teleporters maybe to different, like, little base, uh, spots around the base, 
or just being more defensible in general. It's too easy to spawn lock a lot of amorous spawners in general. I've just said in general way too many times. Celsius Gate, I never get to fight at. Uh, I think it needs an overhaul, though. Point Room is just simply too unbalanced for defenders. Uh, rather, it's too hard to take back as a defender, just because it's a massive goddamn run. Onatha is fine. East Onatha Com is fine. It's okay. And Northgate is fine. Uh, but again, the spawn room is in a bit of a weird place. Only warp gate base I'm going to bother to talk about up here is Crux Mining. Uh, specifically, I like it. But it could do with some more defender rounds. Uh, or just better flow in general. It feels like just a template that's been dropped down without much consideration for how it will actually flow. I'm not admittedly sure how to fix these problems, but I, I think Crux flows relatively poorly for what it is. Moving on to the other Crux, Headquarters, this base was also butchered by being turned into a conduit base. It was relatively fine beforehand, and generally I think it was fine beforehand. I don't know why they made it a conduit base, I think it only hurt the lane for what it is. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Network Hub is okay. Again, Spawn Room simply too poorly defended. You get spawn room camped a whole lot. When you're not getting spawn room camped, it's a pretty okay fight. When you are, it sucks. Bastion was one of the better bases to have the conduit change put on it, but I think Bastion's pretty okay. I wouldn't make a whole lot of changes to it. Uh, maybe some, maybe make the tower a little less uh, hash farmable. Other than that, I think it's fine. I'm running out of bases to talk about. Okay, so we're on the top lane now. We're at, we're at basically the end of the video. Sungray and its auxiliaries are all fine. Westgate is a shit show. Rebuild it entirely. Other than that, Sungray and its auxiliaries are pretty okay. Mossavine, delete it, start over. It's a shit show. I don't even want to explain why it's bad. Long story short, it feels bad to attack. It feels bad to defend. It just feels bad. Same for North Grove Post. North Grove Post is not a fun fight. Again, you have a spawn room sitting way out in the open that you can just hash the shit out of. It's not a good base. Lithcore Fortress is okay. It's a pretty complicated base. I like the unique design of it, um, but it needs really specific pop requirements to be good, and the right players to put good Sunderers up. I think it's a good base, but it's really, really player-dependent, and I unfortunately can't rate it very highly, because a lot of players in this game are damn dumb. NC Arsenal's fine. Uh, I wish it had a bit more uh, Sunderer locations, and uh, again, I wish the spawner wasn't so fielded and easily farmable. Other than that, it is fine. Augur is also fine. I have no problems with Augur whatsoever. Ikenum Garrison. Again, spawn room way out in the open. I don't know why. Uh, other than that, it's a great base. I like it for what it is. Ikenum Triage. You never ever get to fight here. From the bit I have fought here, it's basically the same problem as most other Amish bases that I have, in that the spawn room is too farmable. Other than that, good base. Motor Pool is okay. Um, again, spawn room way too farmable. Other than that, it's okay. And Lithcore Secure Mine is good. It's wacky, it's stupid, but you know what? You need one of those bases on a con. I don't care. It's cool. It's cool for what it is. And then we move on to the elephant in the room. Or rather, the biolab under the ground. I do not like Ikenum. Uh, I will make it very clear that I do not like Ikenum, and I genuinely believe it should just be replaced by standard biolab altogether. I get what they were going for, but as a construction base, Ikenum does not work because it's simply way, way too easily vehicle farmed. So, good luck actually putting a, a base up there that doesn't just get immediately shredded by an armor zerg. And, on the inside, it's really, really easy to spawn lock. People tend to just be brain dead and go straight for the spawn instead of capturing the base. I admit I will too, because it's a good farm. But, as an actual fight, I think Ikenum is really, really poor. I don't like it. I would like to see it overhauled entirely, or even just converted back into a regular biolab. I get what they were going for. It was an interesting attempt. I hate it. So, on the whole... Key points. I like Amrish. I do really, really like Amrish. Like I said, if I if I could only play one continent, I would play Amrish. I think it's a remarkably well-balanced co uh, continent, all things considered. The base designs are generally good. It feels generally pretty fine. But far and away, the largest problem with the continent is all the spawn rooms. Not all the spawn rooms, but most of the spawn rooms are really, really poorly defended and are really way too easy to hash farm or air farm or, in general, too easy to spawn lock. I don't think Amherst needs much changes. In fact, I'd pretty much leave it as is given the most recent changes. The conduit changes only hurt the Condon by ruining good bases on it, like Shrouded Skyway or Crux Headquarters. But for what it is, I think Amherst is fine. It's my favorite Condon by far. And you know what? I don't think it's an unpopular opinion to say it's rare to find a player that hates Amherst. I don't think I've ever found a player that's genuinely hated Amherst. I think it's 
probably the least controversial content in the game. That or Osher, because of how many people hate it. Thank you all, and I will see you all again another time. Bye.